Welcome to National Sports Chat. This is your boy Ken, the guru. You're now tuned in to my take. And I just want to give my little two cents in on Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford be barking louder than ever after an Errol Spence car accident, right? Now, am I saying that Crawford didn't want the fight, you know, at the very beginning? No, I'm not saying that. But he wasn't this eager to fight Errol Spence, you know what I'm saying? And neither was Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao wasn't trying to fight Spence right away. But now I'm hearing reports that Manny Pacquiao wants to uh, uh, fight Spence next. You know, not not after that. He want to fight him next. So so are you pulling a Canelo right now to where you, you willing to fight the person at a disadvantage? Now all of a sudden, when you was a little hesitant to fight this person... Now all of a sudden you want to fight this person because you feel like it gave gives you somewhat of an advantage, unfair advantage. But you don't care about that. You don't you, like you you won't fight him if he get another tune up first. You know what I'm saying? That's why I believe Errol Spence is kind of rushing himself to fighting Manny Pacquiao right now because he knows at full strength he's not going to get that fight. You know, at the end of the day, he's not going to get that fight. That Let's just be honest. Because Manny Pacquiao does not feel 100% Errol Spence will be good for him. You know, so he's willing to take it how, he, how it comes. Hopefully, and he healed the right way and nothing uh, turns up to be wrong later on in the fight. People should be very considerate of this moment at, the, at, this, at this point in time because... If you got into a car accident, most likely you're not going to try to do anything after that for a very long time. But the fact that Errol Spence, you know, uh, is coming back and not asking for a tune up or anything like that just shows the type of heart that he has. And the fact that uh, Terrence Crawford started saying all this stuff about the PVC fighters, which I really don't get into that because I don't care. I just want to see the best fights. So I want to see Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. But when you sit there and talk about the PVC fighters, right? And you basically agreeing with Tim Bradley, the PVC fighters is ducking the smoke when some of the PVC fighters is actually calling you out like the, the Sean Porters. And I would actually like the Sean Porter fight. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that it would be a great move for Sean Porter due to the fact that it will put him back in line to fight Errol Spence right away because he's chasing for undisputed. He just want to, you know, handle things on the side of the PBC, which is uh, an addition. New addition is uh, Manny Pacquiao. That's the fight that he wants. Even he wanted to fight Danny Garcia because it gives his resume more of a validation for a side to to be able to get a little bit of more money you know once he fight terrence crawford right or manny pacquiao i think if errol spence beats manny pacquiao it gives him a stardom that he needs he gets the the nod that mayweather wouldn't give him so it, it'll be like a canelo alvarez when mayweather fought, fought canelo it just get him that stamp of approval of approval you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, but it's ironic, very ironic and, and funny that the the roars have become way louder now that Spence has came back. He hasn't had a fight yet and, you know, come come back from a car accident, horrific car accident that nearly took his life and people basically trying to rush him back oh he needs to fight terrence crawford he needs to fight terrence crawford why would you even ask for that fight if you know that this man is just recovering and then you want him to come back and fight terrence crawford the pound for pound king somebody who has never lost has a lot of experience so you want him to fight that person as opposed to waiting and seeing you know errol spence get back at 100 percent like y'all basically trying to guilt and rush him back to fight Terrence Crawford. I don't even rush him back to fight Manny Pacquiao. I just know 
that he wants to fight Manny Pacquiao due to the fact that Manny Pacquiao is, is on his way out. You know what I'm saying? And Manny Pacquiao wants that fight, at least right now, for Manny Pacquiao's perfect timing. Because it's a possibility of a of a, a rusted, injured man versus an old 40, 40 year old. You know what I'm saying? Which is 40 is not that old, but it gives him somewhat of an advantage to win and beat the person that he didn't want to fight at first because Errol Spence already asked for that fight and he couldn't get it. You know what I'm saying? Right away. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden, he he Twitter beef. Come on now. Like, man, I, I see through all of it. Now, I'm not even talking about Terrence Crawford as far as being scared or anything, but I just still find it ironic that they want to mention his name more than ever. You know what I'm saying? Either it's cloud chasing or they looking for their advantage. But that's all I got for now, man. It's your boy, Ken the Guru, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. I'm out. Yeah. Y'all know what time it is.